Did you know that the worst serial killer in Canadian history is not a man, but a woman, a grandmother, who was once trusted to care for the sick and elderly? Yes, you heard it right. The most chilling fact about Canada's worst serial killer, Elizabeth Wettlaufer, is that she was a registered nurse. The very person who was supposed to care for the vulnerable and elderly, instead, took the lives of eight senior citizens under her watch. It's a profoundly unsettling truth that shakes our perception of caregivers and challenges our sense of safety. This is the story of Elizabeth Wettlaufer, Canada's worst serial killer. Born on June 10, 1967, Elizabeth Wettlaufer grew up in Woodstock, Ontario, a seemingly ordinary girl from a religious family. In the heartland of Canada, she was raised in a devoutly Christian home, where notions of right and wrong were deeply ingrained from an early age. But as Elizabeth matured, she grappled with inner demons that were at odds with her outwardly wholesome upbringing. By her adolescence, she was wrestling with mental health issues, a battle that would persist throughout her life. Her struggle was complicated by a growing dependence on substances, an addiction that would further cloud her judgment and fuel her dark impulses. Despite these challenges, Elizabeth managed to carve out a career in nursing. She became a registered nurse, a profession synonymous with care and compassion. To her colleagues and patients, she was a dedicated caregiver, always ready with a comforting word or a helping hand. Few could have imagined the darkness growing within her. She was a wolf in sheep's clothing, blending seamlessly into the fabric of her community. Yet as she navigated the corridors of her nursing homes, a sinister preoccupation was taking root. But behind the facade of a caring nurse, a deadly predator was emerging. From 2007 to 2016, Vetlaufer committed horrific crimes under the guise of caring for her patients. In the quiet corners of nursing homes, she turned from a caregiver into a predator. Vetlaufer used her knowledge of medicine to become a silent executioner, wielding insulin as her weapon of choice. She induced fatal medical crises in her patients, with no one the wiser. Insulin, a hormone that regulates the amount of glucose in our blood, became a deadly tool in her hands. She administered overdoses to her victims, causing their blood sugar levels to plummet dangerously. This led to seizures, comas, and ultimately, death. It was a slow, agonizing end, a stark contrast to the peaceful passing most would expect in a care home. She chose her victims carefully, preying on the most vulnerable, the elderly, the frail, those with their lives already hanging in the balance. She knew that their deaths would not raise too many eyebrows, would not invite too much scrutiny. It was a calculated, cold-blooded strategy. But while Vetlaufer's methods were horrifying, what's even more chilling is how she managed to avoid suspicion for so long. The symptoms of insulin overdose can often mimic other health conditions common in the elderly, making it difficult to detect. Moreover, Vetlaufer was seen as a dedicated, compassionate nurse. Who would suspect her of such heinous deeds? The answer, tragically, was no one. For nearly a decade she continued her deadly work undetected and unchallenged. She slid under the radar, her crimes overlooked in the bustling overworked healthcare system. The trust placed in her as a caregiver shielded her, allowed her to carry out her sinister deeds right under everyone's noses. For nearly a decade Vetlaufer carried out her grim work, unnoticed and unchecked. It's a chilling reminder of how a facade of caring can hide a heart of cruelty, and how easily trust can be exploited by those with dark intentions. In 2016, guilt-ridden and tormented by her deeds, Vetlaufer confessed to her crimes. The words fell from her lips like a cold, hard stone, shattering the silence of the courtroom and sending shockwaves through the community. A trusted nurse, a caregiver, had been the grim reaper in their midst. Her confession led to her swift arrest, but it did little to ease the horror that gripped the nation. The news headlines blared the chilling truth. Canada's worst serial killer, a grandmotherly nurse. The very person who was supposed to provide comfort and care had been a predator, a silent and deadly killer. The aftermath of Vetlaufer's crimes was devastating. Families of the victims were left grappling with a grim reality, a betrayal of the worst kind. They had trusted their loved ones to a healthcare system that had failed them. Their pain, their loss, echoed across the country, prompting a nationwide introspection. In the wake of this shocking revelation, healthcare regulations underwent a radical overhaul. Improved screening processes, stricter oversight, and enhanced patient safety measures were implemented. The system had failed once, it couldn't afford to do so again. Yet the scars remain. The victims' families continue to mourn, their grief a haunting reminder of the tragedy that unfolded in the most unlikely of places. Meanwhile, behind prison walls, 
Elizabeth Wettlaufer, the grandmotherly serial killer, serves a life sentence, a chilling reminder of the darkness that can hide in plain sight.